What's going on guys? Welcome back to another How I Would Have Made It video. Uh, the series, of course, where I tell you how I would have made a movie or how I would have made a sequel to something. So, this is how I would have made the X-Men. This was requested by Cora Petty. Uh, this is a special request. Um, I was having a conversation with her. Uh, she was recently in an accident. Uh, get some praise in the comments for her. That would be really nice of you guys. Um, uh, this video is for you. So, anyway, let's do this. So, I had to go and watch and read a couple comic books. Uh, I'd re I had to watch uh, a few episodes of the original classy TV show. You know, the -na 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 -na. And then I also watched the X-Men Evolution because uh, of the idea that I have for this movie. So let's actually talk about the casting first because I feel like the casting for me was probably the hardest part about trying to make a movie about the X-Men. Uh, so what I did was... I tried to split it up evenly, but it didn't work out. So what I ended up having is a lot of more good guys and bad guys, uh, which is fine because you know I'll I would I would save that for like other titles of movies. Um, so let's talk. Let's go through the cast. So you got Professor X, uh, you got Cyclops, you got Jean Grey, you got Beast, Colossus, Iceman, and Rogue. Uh, and then on the other side of that, you got Magneto, Mystique, Toad, Multiple Man, and Sabretooth. Now. So let me get into the plot and what this is about. So basically, this is going to be like more of an X-Men evolution type of standard movie. Uh, I'd focus more on like the, the the characters and like the kids and the school. Uh, so basically, it's it would start out as like a private school, right? And Professor X and Magneto, they're working together. They're trying to you know, help the kids learn how to use their powers. So they bring them in, uh, they, you know, starts with recruiting, they start recruiting these kids to come and come to the school. So they don't, don't have too many kids there, which is pretty nice for them. Uh, they got rooms and stuff, which is cool. Um, so as far as ages, I want Professor X to be, you know, decently old, not too old. Uh, Magneto, the same thing. Uh, I also want Colossus to be a little older in this movie, uh, as like for like a teacher purpose, um, and Mystique too, and Magneto of course. So let's let's um, let's 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 uh, let's talk about this. Um, so the plot would be again them just bringing them together, trying to teach them how to control their abilities, uh, learn how to to to. To deal with being in society even though they're different, you know, because the X-Men, the X-Men is one of those things where it's like, they deal with a lot of issues in the real world. Uh, as far as, for example, diversity, for example, which I don't talk a lot about on this channel because I don't like to. Um, and that, the X-Men has always been really good at that. They've always been good at that. It's been like their biggest theme for their characters, uh, which is why they are very successful. And uh, I think, again, with movies like this, it's really important that you focus on uh, multiple characters. Now, if you watch the original movie, it was good, but it was mo mainly focused around this Wolverine character and Rogue. Um, as far as... Um, okay, so I don't want to spend too much time on some of the characters because I basically already told you how I was going to do this. But let me also explain a little bit of some characters because... I have a feeling that some of you are probably thinking to yourself, like, what are some of the characters like? Well, as far as, like, character changes or going back to their origins, uh, one big example, Rogue. I want Rogue to be more of the Southern Belle girl who, you know, that's her. Um, I want majority of the kids, the kids to be, in, you know... Ad like a uh, young adults like they're 19 18 like that's their age group for this they're like college students right that's what i'm going for in this movie um so basically the plot is uh, really simple um again they're teaching the kids how to control their powers some of them obviously want to use it for their selfish purposes and that's where they learn that from magneto mystique um which of course leads to conflicts in this movie um so I also want to focus on like how are you, how is the school being paid and stuff like that. 
Uh, I want to have like this little twist in the movie where we find out that Magneto is actually like Robin Banks uh, and how he developed his helmet so uh, Professor X can't read his thoughts when he's thinking about that. Uh, I'd focus on that too. Um, and then I'd have to, at the end, probably have like a big fight inside the school and the building gets like totally demolished. Um, and then like, you know, some random government guy comes there and is like, oh, your school is all messed up. Here, here's some federal money. <laughs> How convenient moments. I, I, there's no other way to do that. Uh, so, of course, at the end of the movie, I'd want them to get some government funding. Uh, I think it would be, it would make, it would also help make things make sense. Um, so, as far as this movie goes, uh, let's talk about teases. Because I bet some of you are asking yourself, why isn't Wolverine in this? Here's the thing, Wolverine in the original comics wasn't even, like, put in the X-Men until around, like, 1973, or, like, in the early 1970s. In 1963, that was, like, the uncanny X-Men. Like, that, no Wolverine was there. So, obviously, this movie, I'd want to focus more on the core characters, and then in the second movie, I'd focus on more, like, obviously, Wolverine. Uh, doesn't that like, make a little sense more? How, you know, the second movie... The actual second movie make it was you know revolves around Wolverine, his backstory and everything. That would make more sense. Where in the the movie that we got in the original was more um, again focused on Wolverine and Rogue. Uh, so I'd want to take X Men Two if I was if I was able to make it and make Wolverine obviously the next choice for a character to be put in a movie. Um, but as far as this movie, the first movie, he's not in it. Obviously, I tease him, but that's it. Um, as far as their costumes, the first movie would not have costumes. The first movie, I'd do street clothes. Um, I don't want to be too crazy with that uh, yet. Obviously, in the second and third movie, I would have them wear the actual costumes. Um, the yellow, obviously. Uh, I'd have a stupid, like allegory or like m meaningful reason of why of course they're wearing yellow uh i actually looked it up uh apparently yellow uh the color meaning like happiness um uh what else other other meanings look look up the color yellow like and you'll you'll understand where i'm going with that because i kind of forgot but uh yeah guys that's um my little um way of how i make the video or make the movie, I mean. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think that this is a good idea? Uh, personally, I like what they did with the original. Uh, first, again, going back to the first class, um, I think that, again, that's what the, almost a route I go with, but again, a little different. So a little bit more X-Men Evolution style with it. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, until then, guys, thank you for watching, and I'm out of here. Up, up, and away. See you guys.